much. Oh, it's spilling. <laughs> this is a DIY flaxseed gel. I actually made some yesterday. I do like that it comes in a bamboo container, which you can compost. Hi, welcome to Way's YouTube channel. I'm Jean Yu and I'm a sustainability content creator and I teach people how to live a low waste lifestyle while also making it inclusive and accessible to everyone. Today, I'm gonna walk you through my morning low waste beauty routine. I'm gonna show you how I shampoo and wash my hair. I actually use Way's uh, refills. Um, so I'm using the thick hair shampoo and then the thick hair conditioner. Um, what I like about these is that it's actually cutting down a ton of plastic waste because this is actually three bottles uh, in one big packet. So you're cutting down on the, you know, the impact of shipping to the environment and you're also cutting down on packaging as well because this is a lot less plastic than three uh, of the bottles. So we'll be using that to uh, fill it up. So I filled it up in my own glass jars. I was like, why don't I just get the, re instead of just buying the plastic bottles, I was like, why don't I just get the refills? And then I can just fill them up in my own jars and it looks super cute and just clean and kind of matches my like minimalist like aesthetic. So I'm going to show you how I get these curls uh, using Waze shampoo and conditioner. And I'm also going to show you my low waist makeup routine uh, that I do on a daily basis. And it just comes out looking super natural and clean and it's super easy. So the first thing I do is I wash and I shampoo my hair. So I'm just gonna simply just shampoo my hair with the thick hair shampoo. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the conditioner as well. And when I'm conditioning my hair, I like to make sure I'm kind of brushing through to make sure that the conditioner is actually deeply penetrating my hair. So I'll wrap that up in a ponytail in the back and then I'll just like wash my body. And then after I wash my body, I'll rinse the conditioner out of my hair and then hop out of the shower. So now that I'm out of the shower, I'm gonna go ahead and start styling my hair. Now I actually use clip-ins in my hair, um, which you will see here. But I mean, I like the texture of my hair, but I just want it to be longer. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start by adding in some olive oil to my hair. Um, I just put a little bit, just about that much. Oh, it's spilling. <laughs> Put that all in my hair. I can never have too much oil in my hair when it's curly, but when it's straight, I don't put a lot of oil in it at all. When I do my clip-ins, I have to section my hair. So I first start at the bottom and I'll just start applying the clips throughout my hair. So now all the clip-ins are in. And then I actually make my own hair gel. This is a DIY flaxseed gel. All you have to do is take some flax seeds, boil them with some hot water, and you can use a cheesecloth to kind of strain the gel out. Um, and it's a great just like kind of low waste hair hack, um, I would say. So this is what it looks like. I actually made some yesterday. When I'm doing videos on beauty and hair, just videos in general, um, about sustainability. I just try to make everything as inclusive and as accessible as possible. So like, yes, some products I do use are expensive, um, but I like to use products that are accessible. Um, like anyone can go and get flax seeds or you can order it online and it's actually super affordable. So for me, when I started my YouTube channel earlier this year, um, I did it because when I was looking up like YouTubers that were talking about sustainability, none of them looked like me and I felt like there was this huge chunk uh, of information when it came to the sustainability movement that was missing. So even for me when I'm talking about different like curly hair products, 
um, that are sustainable for me like it's important to talk about these things because if we want you know the sustainability movement to be inclusive and accessible to everyone we have to make videos that represent a diverse group of people so that's kind of one of my goals with my channel is just to like show how sustainable living isn't something that only people can do that have money or have access like there are different levels that you can um, be at like in life and still be sustainable so for me it's just making it accessible all right so as you can see the gel is like really light um, and it really holds very very well it's gonna last in the fridge for about two to three weeks and you'll know when it goes bad because like when you smell it it'll, it'll smell kind of funky um, but this is just my kind of everyday natural curly hair routine it's really simple really easy um, Awesome, so now we're gonna get into makeup. All right, since we're all stuck at home, I'm not gonna put on sunscreen, but usually I'll just use some sort of squalene on my face. This one is from BioEssence, um, but The Ordinary also has one as well, which I think they're both about the same in terms of like quality, um, but this one is more expensive. So again, like I like to give people like a range of products from pri different price ranges for products. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to my face. And I'll also use this serum at night as well. So now that's on, I put a little bit too much, but it's okay. I'm gonna do my brows first. And so what I do is I take a flat brush like this and um, I'm gonna take some, this is actually foundation from Kaiju Weiss and it comes in aluminum packaging and you just uh, buy the replacement foundation. So this is foundation that's a little bit lighter than my skin color, but I'm gonna use it as foundation. So I'm gonna clean up my brows because it's quarantine and you know I haven't gotten them waxed in a while so I'm just gonna clean them up with some concealer first and then I like to go up under as well and then I'm gonna go back in and actually fill in my brows I can't believe I have not gotten them waxed <laughs> since like I don't know maybe February it's it has been a minute all right, so I know I look a little crazy. Um, now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. Usually I use this cake mascara by Besame and you just wet it uh, with a brush and then you dip it and it's kind of like paint, but I can't find the brush for my brows. So I'm gonna actually just use this eyeliner um, from Vapor Cosmetics. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in my brows with that really lightly. And then I'm gonna brush them out as well. So I'm just gonna take like a little brow brush that I've had forever that is falling apart, but we're gonna, you know, keep using it because one of the best things you can do to save the planet is just use what you already have. <laughs> I really wish I had my brow brush because this definitely makes it a little bit heavier than I like it, but we gotta work with what we got. <laughs> And then you can also clean it up again with the brush that has concealer or foundation on it. And then what I also like to do is kind of mask these dark spots that I have before I put on foundation. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of dab on the dark spots on my face so they're covered uh, when I put on my foundation. And one of the things that I like noticed when I started living more sustainably and I was looking for you know, low waist makeup. The shade ranges actually aren't that um, diverse, unfortunately. And so again, like for me on my channel, like I like to talk about products that can work for everyone. Um, and I definitely think there's a lot of work in like the sustainable beauty industry um, in terms of just making products, like having different shade ranges and accessible to everyone. And also just being more diverse in general, um, whether that's on their Instagram page or YouTube channel, I think it's important to represent everyone. So I'm using foundation from Pacifica and they actually have a take back program. You can pick this up at Target. It's like a pretty affordable foundation uh, and it's all natural or it's 100% vegan, cruelty free. Um, but when I was, what was I saying? <laughs> Oh, it's important to like be inclusive in the content and the products because if we want everyone to be a part, then we have to make uh, things accessible for them. So for me on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, 
I talk a lot about how, you know, we need to make the sustainability movement more inclusive. And I also talk about environmental racism and just like bringing light to the issues that are going on in the world. Um, for example, there's this place in Louisiana called Cancer Alley and it's 45 miles or no, it's 85 miles uh, stretch of just like uh, different facilities that are producing uh, tons of toxic chemicals and plastics um, and are polluting the environment. The people that live on this 85 mile stretch are black and brown people. Um, and they can't leave because the value of their homes is pretty much nothing so no one's gonna buy it so they can't leave and then also the cancer rate there is actually 50 times higher than the national average but these companies can get away with like producing all these uh, toxic chemicals because there apparently is like no correlation between the cancer rate and the toxic pollution which everyone knows that there is so they can just get away with it so I talk about those things on my uh, platform so oftentimes the message when it comes to like living sustainably is like, you know, go to the grocery store and don't use anything that comes in plastic, etc. But it's like people want, some people don't even have grocery stores to go to, which are called food deserts. And two, some people have grocery stores where all they have access to is things wrapped in a ton of plastic. So I think the narrative needs to change and we can't just tell people to live plastic free or live a sustainable life when there's not you know, the resources available for them to do so. Um, there are things you can do no matter where you are, whether it's like reusing Tupperware or taking your own um, produce bag to the grocery store, like people can do those things, but I think we leave out of the conversation the fact that some people just don't have access to a lot of things. And to like let people know that we can't talk about sustainability without telling the whole story and telling the story of the people who are suffering um, from environmental racism on a daily basis. So now I'm actually going in with uh, the foundation from Kaiju Eyes again and just kind of going up under my eyes I'm not gonna do anything too dramatic, but I like to kind of give myself that extra glow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And I'll blend it up over my eyes as well. And this sponge, by the way, I've had forever. It does contain plastic, but the best thing you can do is to use what you already have. So this is more sustainable than going out and buying a brand new, you know, eco-friendly brush. All right, so let's blend it out. Um, and then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of powder. This is from Antonym Cosmetics, and it comes in a bamboo container. Um, and then, I don't think they offer refills, but I do like that it comes in a bamboo container, which you can compost. Um, so I'm just gonna take a brush and just kind of go over my face and help with this oil. And that's another thing, this foundation, or this is a big foundation in medium dark, which if you look at the color, this color is not dark or even medium. So again, like I think products just aren't really made with people of color in mind, which is very apparent when this is medium dark. <laughs> Definitely something that I'm trying to get more brands on board with and just being more inclusive in their shade ranges. Now I'm just gonna add, um, I just got this um, highlighter from Kaiju Weiss. It comes in a paper container. Um, and then you can just buy the refills. So I'm gonna try this out. I've never actually used this one, um, but I'm always trying to try different eyeshadows, but or different highlighters, but I like to use products that are multi-use because it cuts down on waste and saves you money. So I'm gonna put this on my eyes, just put a little on my eyes, and then use it as a highlight as well. Cool, I just want something light and simple. Then I'm just gonna take a brush, a highlighter brush, and just kind of highlight my nose and my cheeks a little bit. I like to keep things nice and simple and not too fancy. For mascara, I use this mascara by Elite Cosmetics and it comes in a bamboo container. Um, it does have plastic in it, but um, it does have less plastic than a normal mascara. So for me, I just like to brush down and then brush up. And then for lips, I actually just got this um, lipstick from Kaiju Rice. Um, what I like about it is that this is a really pretty like nude color. They just launched like a range of nudes. Um, and all the new lipsticks that I found that were like low waist or sustainable, they weren't nude for brown skin. So this is actually the first brand that I found that their nudes could actually work on a variety of skin tones. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of this lipstick.
And the cool thing is that you can actually just buy the refills. It comes in a uh, aluminum container and you just buy the refills. Um, so you're cutting down on a ton of waste. And then I'm actually gonna just apply a little bit of lip gloss as well. They have a lip gloss too. Um, I'm just gonna put a little on top of it. And gotta put the earrings on. <laughs> So this is the final look. It's just super natural, super simple, super easy. Um, you don't have to do too much, which is what I love. And I also love that I'm just reducing my waist. I'm not perfect. I don't think anyone is ever going to be perfect, but I think if you're just intentional about the things that you're purchasing and why you're purchasing them and trying to find products that are multi-use, can really make a big difference on the environment. So thank you for tuning in and watching Way's YouTube channel. For more videos like this, let us know in the comment section below. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Up. You can find me at Janu on YouTube and Instagram for everyday content on sustainable living and how it can be inclusive and accessible to everyone.